the WSL has been brought back to Fiji. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. On. The same year that we seem to open up our accommodation. So I said, Brian, you should come. And he goes, what? I, I just can't. And I'm like, Brian, no, come. <laughs> Bring some mates and come and join us here in Fiji. And so um, it was amazing. He said, OK. Um, but thankfully, my friend Glenn and his wife, uh, Claire, they had told me about this property that were here in Sela in, in Fiji, um, that they had, and they asked me to invite some friends. The day we got here, the reception from Joe's family was amazing. And the greatest thing was, I went with four people that I did not know at all. You get to see uh, the Fijian testimony of how they live their life and the struggles they go through, and it's it's eye-opening. Brian was hosting the trip, or at least leading the trip. Uh, I knew there'd be some ministry going on, some giving back to the community. And when we came here, that's exactly what's been happening. So I was like, okay, we have surf ministry, we have Fiji going on. Um, and when I spoke to Brian, that one of the goals of the trip was to talk about what is our finding our purpose in the future. I'm like, one, two, three, bam. Go, I think go. that there's this real excitement about it, but there's also a calmness. So it's this perfect fusion of being able to do something that is amazing, that will change lives and be so much fun at the same time. And it's like this epic adventure and we're just super aware of it. Yes, I've uh, seen Sila to where it has come to today. Uh, it's just really emotional. Because uh, it's really come a long way. And you see, God has been really faithful. Uh, if you can see Sila, you can only see God's faithfulness. And uh, God has never failed. Uh, God always stand up and uh, act whenever you want Him the most. He'll never fail us. Sela has been amazing place to sit here and just pause. And I found out that Sela means pause in the Bible. And uh, it does exactly that. It's, it's a slower way of life in that aspect. And you really get time to really talk to God, see his creations. You can feel the hand of God here, definitely, especially with Glenn and being a pastor, probably about the coolest pastor I've ever met in my life. Like hands down, like I wish he, he was my pastor at home. We, we can say we are so blessed uh, to, to be with Glenn Weissman's family uh, and Claire. We, we, we are like brothers. It's been 14 long years since the day we met. And uh, when he's here, uh, I told him early this year when uh, Sila opened, the rest of my energy that is left, I will be here for you and uh, for Sila. Yeah, we were waiting for this moment. Uh, this why I am really emotional, and uh, I'm really emotional because I'm uh, thanking God uh, for all that he's been doing. He's been so good to us. To anybody else that is, seeing this and they don't have friends on this trip and they get a chance to go, I would say go 100% because you're going to make, I feel, long-lasting relationships. You're going to see a different aspect of Fiji. You're going to have meaningful conversations with the Fijian family here and with Glenn and his family and see like what God is doing here at Sela. If we can somehow be a, a walking Bible, to them. Uh, we see that uh, this is a generation that is so fast because it may be really hard to tell people about Jesus, but if they can see how we live and how we, we move around in the day or two or three while they are here, 
if we can just uh, represent Jesus to their lives and be a good ambassador, I hope uh, people can go back with something and uh, really know that uh, Jesus lives in Fiji and in Sila and they can take back uh, to their own families. And another thing that I want to see that um, people really come and see what Fiji is all about. Fiji is all about the love. Fiji is all about the open heart. That uh, you can do it now. If not now, then when? If not here, then where? If not you, then who? Come down to Sila. We are here to see you in the Fijian way. Bula! Bula.